No, start. Uh, uh, start uh, back. Well, just just start at the gr- over, yeah. start the greetings. Yeah. Greetings to the 40th anniversary celebration of the Alleluia community in Augusta, Georgia. I'm Vincent Sinan, a longtime friend of the community, especially Bill Beatty, who I think started things way back before I met him. I remember well speaking at Notre Dame in 1972 to a huge conference and meeting Bill Beatty after that, and then being invited to speak in 1975 to the Southeastern Catholic Charismatic Regional Conference in the Civic Center in Augusta. Um, I was so excited about this, uh, it really meant the world to me, and I, since I was teaching at Emmanuel College, it's a Pentecostal holy school, I invited a group of students to come with me so they could see with their own eyes what I've been talking about. So we came and uh, the whole van load of students, and I'll never forget the session, Bob Mumford was the speaker, I was the speaker. About 3,000 people there, and the, the atmosphere was electric. They received my message like dynamite. Bob Mumford was one of the greatest communicators I ever heard. And um, the praise was so wonderful, and the depth of worship was just so intense that the students were swept off their feet. I remember looking up in the balcony. And this group of students are on their feet with their hands raised, just praising the Lord. And uh, it was just such a dynamic memory. I'll never forget it as long as I live. And what happened after that was even more incredible, I guess, because we came back to the college the next Monday. They asked me to speak in chapel just to report of what I had seen. And when I did, about 400 students were in there. And the Spirit of God fell in the chapel. And uh, I gave an altar call, and almost everybody came to the front. And uh, people were being baptized in the Spirit, being slain in the Spirit. Uh, People were being healed. Students were just carried away. And it, it spilled over out into the campus. Classes were canceled. And on into the night, students were in circles out on the campus, holding hands and praying. And it was one of the greatest revivals that ever touched that campus. And it was such an amazing thing to everybody that Catholics were speaking in tongues and being baptized in the Spirit. And uh, we were so excited. It just uh, was a sensation on campus. Uh, Sometime soon after that, I invited Bill Beatty and the Alleluia community to come and speak to the uh, college community. So uh, maybe a couple of busloads came from Alleluia, and we had a big service in the uh, uh, gymnasium, and hundreds and hundreds of students and community people and church people were there. And uh, Bill Beatty spoke, and... um, and the uh, Catholics sang these good, wonderful, charismatic songs. And, and it was so inspiring. Uh, everybody was in utter amazement to see this. And when the, when the Catholics got really happy, they started dancing. The only ones that weren't dancing were the Pentecostals. And uh, it was just a sight to behold. And that whole community and college was changed forever. Um, And it's something I treasure and will treasure the rest of my life. Then later on, I was invited to come maybe two times after that to speak at the Alleluia community. I remember some marvelous sessions there and great times with uh, the community and speaking and being welcomed into the homes of the people. It was just such a marvelous community. And then uh, Bill Beatty and I were selected to lead these big conferences uh, in New Orleans that came in 1986 and 1987. And I was made chairman of this North American Renewal Services Committee. And uh, Bill Beatty was vice chairman. And so we worked together for several years, planning huge charismatic
cosmetic conferences. We had uh, about um, 40,000 in the Superdome in 1987, and then we had others in other uh, cities. Uh, after that, we had about five big congresses, and Bill and I worked hand in hand. We were very, very close at that time. And uh, then, Bob Garrett, I met you and all the musicians there. And, of course, we had the Glencoe meetings going on, which we now call a Charismatic Leaders Fellowship. And in time, Bob, you, and others came and became the musicians for the group. And and I stepped down after 17 years leading that. And uh, so now you and... uh, uh, Scott Kelso are doing a wonderful job of leading this Charismatic Leaders Fellowship. But again, I want to say that the Hallelujah community has been around a long time. Forty years is a long time in biblical terms. And your reputation is worldwide. You've provided troops for some of these big conferences. Your people have been such willing workers, so inspired. And the music ministry has been a great blessing in many different places, in different conferences we've held. The Hallelujah musicians have come and done a, a great job. So uh, Bob Garrett, Bill Beat, and everyone else, it's just been a great joy to be part of your community and hope to come back and be with you again sometime in the future. May the Lord give you 40 more years while you're still living, Bob. Bless you. <laughs>